Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi, where people glitch through the walls. Well, it's normal, I suppose. But uh, today, first of all, hopefully you don't hear my fan running uh, because it's a quite a hot day again today. Not really bearable without it, so I hope it doesn't disturb you too much. Um, but today... We shall launch an expeditionary probe to see um, the kind of defenses we're dealing with around Bat Teeth and around Blister Hill. These are like the two things that I want to find out today. How are these holding up? Um, are these like difficult to take? What do we have to look forward to? So. Let me grab my little scouting squad over yonder. And, um... Well, let's just close the door right here. We'll send them out this door. Sure. And then we'll, we'll launch our scouts. And, uh... Well... I think everybody has at least a few arrows with them. Let's share a few of Silver Shade there, so he has a few more. There we go, that's decent enough. Alright. So. First things first. Let's go to this, like, uh, river slash coastal area. That's the first place I want to go. I think we can scout them during the day and the night. I think this, this squad here shouldn't have too much trouble with both of these options. Of course, night would be more useful to us because we might be able to uh, even sneak into the cities. Especially with, like, Beep and Silvershade. They're so freaking talented at this point. But, you know. I didn't say I want to infiltrate the cities. I want to um, ascertain and, and find out their dis defenses. Also, I wanted to check here real quick if I see any movement, but... Oh! <gasps> Look here, there's a few people. We'll kill them. Because we can. Essentially. There's one of them, like... There's a holy sentinel. They're both holy sentinels. Attack! Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Run away, run away, because uh, he's actually at the gun. <laughs> that could have gone bad. Uh, is Bombingham out of... Why is... Why is Bombingham in melee? He should... Range? No, he has his range activated. Why is he going to melee? Oh, yes! He forgot to take his... Uh, his rifle, apparently. Interesting. Well, that's how it goes. Alright. So both of these are down. We'll do the, the usual. You know the drill by now. Don't you? Of course, Bombingham was smithing. And then because of that, he uh, got rid of his freaking... His gun, his his piece, his his crossbow. But yeah, there you go. Oh, they're fine. Okay. So that has been dealt with. <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. So here we are. So Bad Thief is over there. Like nestled in between the mountains, it looks like. So we'll have to cross the river. Well, there's a bridge here, so that shouldn't be too much trouble. And then let's go like over here-ish into the, the forest. Okay, what do we have here? So... There's some pieces of wall, but no guns on it. Same here. No guns. Up here. No guns. Okay. And then here we have the gates. 
Now the gate obviously is being guarded by some sentinels, that's clear. That's very clear. Then you have a big tower, but no guns again. Yeah, they don't seem to have any guns in this city. Huh. Well, color me a tiny bit surprised, actually. That's very interesting. So this... Uh, how much residents do we have? 69 residents. Although, I mean, there's a lot of, like, guys like these, like drifters, which I'm not sure they're gonna help fight us. I'm not sure they will. But still, 69... By the way, 69. Nice. Um, I'm not quite sure if we can take on that many people. I mean, if we do it um, in a smart way, maybe we can. Um, but... Oh, did we just sneak in? Yeah, we accidentally just snuck into the freaking city. Wow, um, that's talented. Okay, well done, guys. But yeah, um, so Bad Teeth might be an easy one or an easier one to take. For all we know. But yeah, hmm. Very interesting. I mean, this one has actually 67 residents, so... Hmm. Oh, well. Let's check out Blister Hill. Blister Hill, that must be somewhere around here. Maybe behind that big stone thing? No, it must be in front. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ooh, that's a lot of walls. I have the feeling this one is going to be a little bit tougher. There's even a cool tower-looking thing. Look at that. That's awesome. It's probably not even climbable, but... Ooh, yeah. There is guns, guns, guns galore. What are these? Like crossbows? Just mounted crossbows, but still. I at least saw four on this wall. I don't think there's any on this side, though. Very interesting. Let's try to get a bit closer so we can zoom around a bit more. And then there is an inner wall as well, it looks like. Which again is protected by a few crossbows, it seems. Well, if you approach from... Can you even approach from this side? Then you go right away into the inner wall. But yeah, it, it, I think this one is a bit more difficult to take. 121 residents. But apparently a lot of roaming uh, squads. So, e yikes. Not, uh, not the best thing to try and attack, I would imagine. But yeah, that means Bad Teeth is our like primary target at this point, isn't it? So, how, how do we do this? I mean, there's 69 people in there, apparently. We are, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 per, per row. Is that correct? Yeah. 11, 22, 33, almost 44. And that's 44 trained soldiers, more or less trained. Which should be able to take them. And then we have four specialized, like, assassins slash um, ranged characters, which can deal a lot of damage, too. So here we have a military base. I mean, we can try and take these before we, we get ourselves into the bigger ones. But we can try and get ourselves one of these. Because honestly, I mean, there's there's a few guards here, for sure. There's a doctor. Oh, I've never seen one of those. A doctor of the Holy Nation. Yeah, look, there's a lot of paladins in here. So that's... I, th I think that's a bit of a difference between, like, a thing like Blister Hill. Oh, whoops. Apparently they saw us. Bummer. But yeah, that's a bit of a, a difference between Blister Hill and this um, base. In Blister Hill, we have 
a part at least of the inhabitants is civilians and in the military base it's going to be paladins galore basically so we might be better off fighting blister hill than one of the military bases i kind of wonder how that will work if we clear out blister hill if uh, another faction will take over because i heard that how it how, how things work there's like a world state and if you do certain things um stuff changes it would be cool if uh a faction would take over bad thief like the Sheik, for example that would be awesome because then we would have a, a, another allied city really close to us that would be kind of cool i suppose i'll have to figure that out but anyway um in the meanwhile i need to do make some things i need to make some arrows i'm sure there's always a need for arrows so let's make a whole bunch of regular freaking bolts there we go and let's let's also make some toothpick bolts as well just because we can there we go and while this is all going on should we try and get a new recruit because uh, right now we have two for five of our heavies. Um, that's seven of our... Well, how, do, how would you call these? Um, Halberts dudes. Then we have... Um, that's about, what, nine light infantry. We have two, four, six, eight ranged. Then we have two, four, six, eight, ten... 11 heavy dudes so yeah maybe um get another hyper either an, a normal drone or probably another dead drone i mean that's that would be easy right for beep getting another one of these i don't think we have anyone in prison at the moment don't we no we don't okay yeah so we might just uh, go and snack ourselves another uh another freaking dude at uh the Fog Islands, as we do. And while we're... Oh, they're fighting something, are they? And while we do that, let me do the crafting already. So we're gonna have... Uh, spiked Clop H1 and Long Cleaver H1. And then Samurai... Uh, armor and samurai leg plates and that's it awesome most awesome indeed but yeah i think uh, i think we can take blister hill what you what you guys reckon i i have the feeling we can take those suckers but it would be kind of cool if if that town then would be taken over by somebody useful because yeah we cannot hold towns like that i don't think there's a there's no system in place for that that you can take over. You know, kind of like I don't know, maybe like Mountain Blade style, where you then uh, control the fiefdom, the, the 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 county, and then people pay taxes to you and shit. Well, I I I don't think that works at all in this game. Well, technically, the Holy Empire um, works that way, I suppose. They they use taxes don't they so I guess they kind of work in that in that fashion they spotted me apparently I'm kind of I'm kind of flabbergasted that they did I have to I have to say okay let's try and approach again because apparently there's a lot of people around here already might have to wait for the for the night to be able to to take somebody away here oh jesus a fuckman kill him oh boy i have attracted more that's not good hey look i have <laughs> slaughtered one <laughs> Well, one we won were pretty good, but everything that comes after that is a bit, a uh, bit of a problem, I reckon. Okay, I think we're good. 
Yeah, we'll probably have to wait until the sun goes down. I cannot even see them in the distance. The fog is annoying as hell right now. Hmm. I think I can see them walking in the distance over here. Yeah, there we go. There's a whole bunch of them, but I think that's only normal Fogmen, so no, no targets here. No, no primary targets. Something's going on over here. We have some... Oh, holy servants. Yeah, you picked... You picked a, a bad fight here, I have to say. Not a good idea. Mm -mm. You're not gonna win that. I'm sorry. Oh. Got spotted again? Come on, Beep. I thought you would be a better sneaker. I expected more, Beep. I expected more of you. Hmm. Ah, well. I just saw there's a Beast Trader on the way to our location. Ooh, there's a, a big squad roaming around here. I wonder if they get into a fight. But yeah, there's a beast trader on the way to our um, settlement. I have the feeling we're going to take a look at what this beast trader offers. And we might want to we might want to get something like a new kind of beast. I know I have like a I have a bull and a, a bone dog. However, I think there's like pack, like Garus and pack beasts and stuff like that. And maybe we want to have one of those as well. That could be kind of interesting, I suppose. Big fighting going on over here somehow. I mean, that group of holy servants is not doing terribly. But yeah, we haven't, we haven't found anything yet. So no, uh, no heavies whatsoever. Kind of annoying. There are also no heavies over here. We'll just try to follow the numbers. Because wherever there's a number, there's a fight. And whenever there's a fight, there might be... Oh, look, it's one of the, the, the dudes here that managed to uh, beat down one of the Fogmen. Shall we help him? Yeah, sure. Let's go and help him. Well done, Beep. Uh, you totally, uh, you know... You were a cheerleader there. Well done. Hmm... We haven't kidnapped all of them, have we? That would be weird. No more fog heavies. They have completely disappeared. Is there any more death yards around? I don't know, man. Like over here, Phil, maybe? Hmm. But yeah, um, I'm sure we'll find something, but jeez, I was under the impression there would be like squads of these things roaming around. But uh, I don't seem to find anything here. Let's walk towards Mongrel. I think around Mongrel were a few death yards as well. Beast Trader has arrived, okay? Where has he arrived? Somewhere in front of the freaking... There he is, okay. Let's go and get... Oh! Okay, so apparently this is our last known thing. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. Okay, so it wasn't that long ago, apparently. It was definitely at night. Hmm. Well, we'll just, um... We'll see here if we find... No, there's no heavies here. There's just normal, boring, foggy men. 
And I think the Beast Raider's still on the way to us, yes? Yeah, the Beast Raider's, I think, still on the way. I mean, we can check if he's here, but I don't think he is. No, he's not there yet. Okay. Should see him on the map, though, shouldn't we? Oh, yeah. He's down there. He's making his way up now. That was a weird crash. Um, I know we had a crash, like, a while ago, but... Hmm. Again, I... This game, at, at least the unmodded version, never really crashed for me, so... I wonder what that was. Well, it must have been something with the Beast Trader, probably. Would make sense to me, at least, but yeah, I don't know. Things like that are sometimes very difficult to, to figure out. Uh, could there be a death yard over here? I think I just saw some stuff in the distance, like some lights there. Yeah, we might be lucky here. Yeah, that is definitely another death yard. However, oh, okay, I just want to say, I see no people, but, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But again, only normal fuckmen. Uh huh. Difficult, I, I really don't see any heavies. We're not too lucky today, aren't we? It, I was under the impression that um, the, f the heavies w um, are the ones that run around with the princess, right? So, the question is, where are they? Are these... are they really just exclusively in the roaming squads? Ah, that's annoying. I mean... We could also try to get other recruits in some capacity, but still, it is a bit annoying, I do have to say. Uh, jackpot. Mama said, knock you out. Funk. Excellent. All right, mission um, successful, RTB. Swoosh. And there he goes. Good. Alright, Beast Raider should be right at our gates in a second here. Hey, townies! Hopefully it doesn't crash again. That would be nice. Doesn't look like it does. Good. Let's see what they have. Um, show me what you have. So, do you have a... There we go, they have pack beasts, pack bulls, goats... Yeah, that's it. Do we want a pack beast? So, we have one for 4,821 and one for 4,688. What's the difference? One of them is a bit older and female. Does that matter? No, I don't think that does. Let's buy a pack beast. And let's call it... Let's call it... Uh, hold on. Eh. Daisy. There we go. Alright, little Daisy. Oh god, Stitches is... Nom. He just ate a, a, a thing. Ah, uh, no, th now they're gonna run through all my shit again. Uh, I hate these guys. Gonna get stuck in the base, aren't they? And if I close the door now, they're gonna freaking beat against the uh, the door. Oh yeah, and the the people face through the wall again. Genius, thanks. 
Ah, it's not easy, this game, isn't it? But I think at least the traders are out. So Daisy comes with a huge freaking backpack. Most amazing. And this is this is like a puppy. This is a small one. Also, it carries its own, its own cute little lantern. That's awesome. So does that actually give light, this lantern? Is that a, an effectual light source? You know, if I, I don't know, if somebody, hold on, um, if burn goes like to over here. Ah, uh, no, he has to work somewhere where it's dark. Uh, can he, can he work on that? No, um, hold on. One of you, if you work over here. You're working in darkness, yes? So now if we move Daisy over here. I mean, the penalty is getting reduced now because it's... Ah, too late. But I wonder if that counts as an actual light source. Does it say here? It's a Garug backpack, but it doesn't say anything about lights, doesn't it? Backpack designed to fit Gars. Is that the... um? Oh. What is... Why is Mew... Oh, Mew is stuck, that's why. Oh boy. Could you? Thank you. <laughs> Good thing there's like a warning when somebody is about to starve. Yeah, you go and eat, Mew. Jesus Christ, man. I'm not quite sure how she got stuck there, but she apparently did. Where is she going now? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't want to malnourish you on purpose. Uh, where is... What? Why are you being attacked? What is going on? Probably Holy Nation if I had to guess, but... It's being chased by something? I don't see. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, there's a whole... A whole pack of Holy Boys. Well, you never catch beep. the terrible. <laughs> Off you go. Meow. It's like the Roadrunner. <laughs> and you're just a bunch of stupid coyotes. Easy. Well, cool. We have a pack beast. I I'm, I'm, I'm find that kind of cool. You know, basically the pack beast, we're gonna, we're gonna use this. Um, the pack pool is basically for the military branch of my establishment. And the... Who are we? Oh, there's some hungry bandits that followed us. Oh, whatever. Okay. If you want to die, guess you die. There you go. Um, and yeah, the pack beast is then going to be for more civil um, transporting stuff. So let's say we, we want to have a huge trade load of something to somewhere. That's going to be the pack beast. Um, if we want to maybe at one point get a second outpost... Then we'll load up the pack beast with a whole bunch of uh, material and send it along with the beep. Oh, well done. With the, the settlers, so to speak. I have to kind of reset this thing here again because it's bucked. Somehow it's bucked. Talk to. There we go. And you, my broad-faced Friend, you're gonna call, be called. Um. For 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 Faraki, Faraki. Sure, that's what what your name is now. I'm gonna set you free. And where do we have the squads? Here we go. Oh, he's actually already in the right squad. Excellent. Good, time to get your weapon, son. Well, weapon and gear, but I'm pretty sure everything's done. Well, he's running around doing stuff, but I'm not quite sure what he's doing, honestly. But yeah, okay. Let's see if everything is, is, is already finished. Um...
Really? Nothing is done? I'm, I'm kind of irritated, honestly. Why is nothing done? What is... Okay, what is Kang doing? He's operating the machine. What is he doing? He's... What are you doing? What? Are you even... He is definitely working the iron resource for some reason, but why? Why is he doing that? Uh, okay, um... Time to figure that out. Apparently, well, the weapon smithing is done, as far as I can see. No, not Logan. Kang. Wait, to have a... What? Crafting. Heavy armor smithy. It has stuff in it. What's that buck too? I have two heavy armor smithies? Huh? I'm confused now. Yeah, there we go. Well, that would exp... Where is the second... Oh, it's this one! The one we wanted to kill! Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's dismantle this one ASAP because, my goodness. That, that was a bit of confusion there. <laughs> oh, well. Well, tell me at least that, uh... Yeah, weaponry is done at least. Thank God. At least one of my dudes knows what he's doing. Well, to be fair, that was pretty much my mistake and not a... That wasn't a, a character, an AI thing that went wrong. That was all on me. There you go. Now's his weapon back. Excellent. Oh, well, you know. We'll have to wait for the armor a bit then. That's fine. We can deal with that. Cool. Well, at least he's armed. He's naked and afraid, but at least he's armed. Well, cool. So, um, what are we going to do next time? Um, I think if I look at here, the next Holy Nation Assault is just around the corner. So, we're going to wait on that. And then, um, either... We're either going to trash another holy farm, or we could really try our, 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 our army on Bad Teeth. We could try and, and, and take that one over. It would be very interesting. I'm not sure we couldn't do it, but it would be freaking interesting to do. So yeah, I will think about it. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Um, so far, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out next time. So guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.